It's amazing when you take a moment to look around how much technology is all around us. I mean, they're building quantum computing chips two municipalities away in Burnaby and down the street from our office. Seriously, it's so close that we could hit it with a potato cannon. Excelsior Measuring has got a $30,000 laser scanner that they've invited us to go take a look at. So uh, we're walking there. It's a crazy cool piece of kit that allows you to turn this into this. And this video is brought to you by Thermaltake. The Thermaltake Core P90 tempered glass case features five millimeter thick glass, an angled open frame design, a bunch of different layout options with vertical GPU mounting with a riser cable included and more. You can check it out at the link in the video description. So this place is actually pretty cool. The owner, Daniel, has been a long time viewer. They've got a gigantic floor mat when you walk in that's like Excelsior. And everyone from their bookkeeper all the way up to the folks working on 3D modeling or graphic design are using custom hand-built workstations. So it's a pretty cool vibe in this place. Anyway, this is the BLK360. Wow. And I've been asked very nicely by the owner here not to uh, drop it. I see my reputation has preceded me somewhat, but don't worry, don't worry. I'm, I'm experienced at this sort of thing. What does this cost again, 30 grand? Anyway, so this puppy right here will do three separate types of scans all simultaneously. It does photo, it does 3D with what's called a, a, a point cloud or something along those lines, and this little sticker right here that I guess uh, Fleer probably twisted like his arm to include on it. It also does thermal scanning at the same time. So it'll actually record, depending on the quality of the scan that you're going for, anywhere from 100,000 to 360,000 data points per second as it whirs around and spins around, whether it's a room or, or outdoor or whatever it is that you're trying to scan. In terms of accessories, I don't often get to unbox things that cost this much. You get a car adapter. So you, uh, on your way to a site, you know, if you're driving up to Kamloops or something, you can have it charging up. You get uh, a battery. You get a wall charger with international adapters. And finally, a battery charger for the wall charger so you can charge the batteries. Wow, okay, give me a second. I gotta get all this stuff out of the way. All right, so uh, let's take a bit of a closer look here. Oh, oh, all right, there we go. So that's it. That's all there is to it. It's got like a blasted aluminum housing. It's got, uh, oh, I guess I'm gonna need that battery. There we go. It's got a battery compartment at the back. Look at that smooth action on the door. That, that is what $30,000 buys you. And then you got your power button on the front and man, there's not a lot to it. So here on the back, they've got three 15 megapixel cameras. And what those do is they take the photographic image of the site. So they will actually create a 150 megapixel dome around the location where the camera is set up. So the doodad in the middle is gonna spin around like this. And then the whole unit is gonna spin around 360 degrees. And it's gonna basically measure the distance between the BLK360 and all the objects around it as, as point data. And then that will all have to be assembled after the fact. Now it can hold something to the tune of 100 scans on its built-in memory and the accuracy of this, so out to about 60 meters, is within four millimeters. So there are quite a few applications of this technology, but what Excelsior measuring does with it is they get scans of the outsides of buildings because 
A lot of the time, if you want to, uh, let's say, uh, put an addition on a house, or if you want to change something about a commercial construction project, what you have to do is you have to submit to the city an as-built measurement of the building. It's not good enough to send blueprints because they might not have been adhered to perfectly. So in the old days, you would have to take like a, like a pocket laser rangefinder and just kind of sort of math everything based on angles. This, you just plunk it down in the parking lot, press run, and it gets you all of the measurements to within that four millimeter accuracy I was talking about. And it can actually even run out in sort of a light mist. It's IP54 rated. Now it's not perfect. It doesn't handle, or this model anyway, doesn't handle things like the inside of a K very well. So for mining applications, they've got a more powerful model because uh, it doesn't handle like blacks or, or dark blues or reflective surfaces. But for their application, it has proven to be very, very useful. But Enough talking about it, they've actually agreed to let us borrow it. So we're gonna take this back to our office and get a 3D scan of the Linus Media Group building. Okay, so here we are in our set. We're actually running a scan right now. We're probably gonna have to discard this one because it's gonna have my face in it, but don't, don't worry too much about that. Basically what it's gonna take is about six placements here in our, uh, our apartment set slash studio for us to build such an accurate digital representation of it that anyone who had the file could go and create a real life recreation of this studio like that. I mean, it's construction, so there's like permits and stuff, but, but like, like a slow that. Okay, so now we're running the last scan, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna send all of this point cloud data back with Daniel to his company. They're gonna process it and we're gonna go check out the results tomorrow. Okay, so normally they have a week to do this kind of stuff. So we're gonna go a little bit easy on them, but we are back in the office and Daniel's got a 3D scan of our studio that we can actually just, what, like fly through? Whoa, holy crap. So this, you guys, is the bedroom set. It goes all the way up to the ceiling too. Okay, so Daniel's company uses this primarily for measuring, like uh, surveying a construction project, as we mentioned before, but this tech has actually been known to be used in the production industry as well. So what they could do is they could take uh, a space, or in our case, a set or a location, and then they could import this information, because this is all just just, just a, like a point cloud. They can take all this information and they can create a model in 3ds Max or Maya. And then what they could actually do is they could build up a set, including lighting locations, and see, once they've rendered it out using obviously quite powerful hardware, what exactly it would look like in real life. So it's super cool stuff that these guys are doing here at Excelsior Measuring. They're not like a sponsor for the video or anything. They're just a local company that was literally down the street that had a fun toy to play with that ended up being actually even cooler than I expected. So hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along for the ride. This video is brought to you by FreshBooks. FreshBooks is the easy to use accounting solution for small businesses and entrepreneurs. It's custom built for how you wanna work. It's a simple way to be more productive, more organized, and to get paid faster so you spend more of your time doing your work and less of your time fighting with complicated accounting software so you can figure out how to get paid for your work. And it's more than just creating and sending invoices. You can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks and get paid up to four days faster. And you can see when your client has seen your invoice to put an end to the guessing games. So for a 30-day unrestricted free trial, head over to freshbooks.com slash tech tips and enter Linus Tech Tips in the How Did You Hear About Us section. So thanks for watching. A huge shout out to Daniel here for putting his life on hold basically to get this done in, and I think it was less than a 24-hour turnaround for us. Really cool, really appreciate that. Um, if this video sucked, you guys know what to do, but if it was awesome, hit that like button, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured. <laughs> that is if you have a commercial application for it. I wouldn't just buy one of these for fun. We'll have that linked in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join.